Well, this is the um, gamma spectrum of the sample that we scraped from the uh, filter and uh, we can now ask the program to analyze these peaks that you see um, and I'll just do that ask for a full analysis and you see that the, the program is running running across the peaks here and each one of these peaks comes out at a particular position in terms of its energy and then we'll get an analysis now here's the spectrum analysis that tells us what's in the in the sample and we can see immediately that the sample contains cesium-134 and here we have 42,000 42, becquerels per kilogram. And cesium-137 we have um, 68,000 becquerels per kilogram. And also interestingly you see here we have a lot of lead-210. Now lead-210 is a very interesting radionuclide. It's normally natural uh, decay product of radium-226. But here we've got far too much of it. We've got seven and a half thousand here seven and a half thousand becquerels per kilogram of lead 210 and that's almost certainly from the reactor because there's no bismuth 214 there which is what we would expect if it was natural and also there's thorium 234 and now look at that that's the daughter of uranium 238 so that's giving us 3,000 becquerels per kilogram of uranium-238 and there's also uranium-235 we've got 240 becquerels per kilogram of uranium-235 so far too much now we're going to ask this to put in the put in the um, the nuclides so we'll do that here we are nuclides and it says show nuclides okay so we can ask it to do that now we can go to any point here and look at the spectrum to see what there is. And here's the thorium-234, you see. And, that, and there's the lead-210. Let me, let me take you a bit closer to this. And you can see how clever this stuff is. See this? So there's quite clearly lead-210, thorium-234. These are very, very small sample, this. There's thorium-234 again. Let's move across here and see what we've got. We'll go up here at this. And there's uranium-235 here. See that? Now uranium-235, that's that peak there, is telling us that we've got a lot of uranium-235. That means, with the other thing, we've got, um, we've got clearly... Now there's some cesium-134. Now these are the big peaks of cesium here. Here's the big cesium-134 peak. Where is it? There. There it is. Look at that. See? So that's a big cesium-134 peak there. And remember this sample is the sample that I scraped off that filter that I showed you. There's cesium-137. There we are, cesium-137. So this technique enables us to tell exactly what it is in the sample. Very clever stuff really. Although it does cost a bit of money because we have to... I haven't got a machine like this. Cesium-134. And of course there are various other uh, substances there, including natural substances, so we will have um, potassium-40 at 1460. Let's see if we can find that for you. Where are we now? We're at 1168. So if we go along here we'll find potassium-40. Is that it? No. What's this? It must be this one then. No. It must be this one. There it is. There it is, potassium-40. So we know it's potassium-40 because we know where the peak is. It's at 1460. It is 1465.1, that's the cursor. But if I put the cursor there, it comes out at 1460. See? So what we can say about this sample is that what we said before is true. 
that the sample is extremely radioactive, the, uh, the, the filter is extremely radioactive, and it contains high levels of uranium and lead-210 and cesium-137, all substances which are inside an apartment on the 20th floor of a block 300 meters from the Tokyo Tower. Isn't that quite something? It's quite something. Rhodium-102 we have here. This is a fission product from uh, Fukushima. But my, the most serious one, the one I... has uh, the U-235. I mean, these peaks are not very large, but then remember the sample is really small. Really small sample. It's just a few, few grams. Chlorium-234. So that's our uranium peak. And there's far too much uranium there. It's about 3,000 becquerels per kilogram. It should be about 20. So this uranium is from Fukushima as well. Which means that particles of uranium are floating about in central Tokyo. Scary stuff. Scary stuff.